Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content for groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Andrew here, and today I have Seventeen's dream music video. Looking forward to this. I actually have like two Seventeen videos I already recorded, but because this is new, we will be checking this out. Ignore my TV over there because I actually don't have my TV up. It's usually there, like when I, when I use the TV, but I like never watch TV. But recently, I've been wanting to rewatch a show I used to love as a kid called The Naked Brothers Band, and I have the DVDs. So I don't feel like buying it. So I just like set my TV up on the ground. Mm -hmm. Normal, normal. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's why that's over there. But I have two videos I planned. Well, I already watched, um, but that will be coming out this week. But since this is new, we'll check this one out. So let's hop into the video. On Patreon, I checked out Seventeen Battle Trip. Actually, both episodes. We did the Mingyu Song One One like a long time ago. Wow. They really go all out for their Japanese music videos. Oh, June. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Is that like he said Hoshi? Hoshi. <laughs> I know Hoshi is also, I think, like a Japanese name. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. oh my god. That's so cool. I was hoping there would be a gay couple. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Oh, they filmed this a while ago. Because of the hair. Oh. Beautiful. Hey, that was smooth. June has no right. No right. That's cool. Meow's getting a lot of lines. Oh, cute. I like that it's kind of like more realistic. It's not like a perfect line. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, my man. So catchy. This is my favorite scene. Like this set. It sounds so much like a B side, like a really good B side. But like, that's all their Japanese title tracks. Like Fallen Flower and stuff. I like the simplicity of the choreo. That was a cute song, and it was so beautiful and cinematic. It reminds me so much of um, Uji's, um studio, which I'm gonna assume. I mean, isn't his? It's called a like Universe Factory, right? So I guess that makes sense. But um, wow, that's so cute. <laughs> I love that. That was beautiful, and it was just such a comforting song something about it made me feel very comforted also happy birthday to wizzy and minghao 
um, their birthdays are like right next to each other, so we're just gonna say both of them. And I didn't do any videos dedicated because if it's impossible to get everyone's birthdays and stuff prepared. But alas, that is it for this video. Like I said, we have some stuff coming out for 17. I did two videos, technically three, but I'm unsure if I'm going to post the Ming Hao one. It was the one where he's like talking to a carrot's dad. That man just kind of infuriated me. So I don't know if it's like a good video to post because the dad was really annoying. Um, and most people probably won't agree with my annoyance of him. So I hesitate to post it, but I might, I might. Um, but yeah. Yeah, um, I wish they did a whole Japanese album, but I would also rather them not overwork themselves, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. I think I prefer Fallen Flower a bit more, just because that, that song and video just, and the choreo is so beautiful. I also feel like they're two different songs anyways, um, but let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three.